Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Guthrie here for, for um, another little quick video. This one probably won't be too long, but uh, I do have some stuff to cover. Every time I say that, it ends up being the longest ones I've ever done. It's like uh, saying I'm not going to go out and drink that much tonight, and then you, next thing you know, it's 5.30 in the morning, and the nights you go out to, man, I'm going to tear it up. You're like, ah, I'm having one drink and I'm going home. So crazy how it works. Um, man, I must... You know, I don't know if you guys know this or not. I'm I'm 43 years old, born in February 3rd of 1979, and um, I I went to have lunch today. I had a couple lessons, taught a couple lessons. The weather's been incredible. Going on a boat cruise tomorrow with my good buddy that runs BMI, Clay Bradley, uh, my dear friend here. His family, he's got he's an interesting cat. Um, he's got three family members in the Country Music Hall of Fame: Owen Bradley, Harold Bradley, and and Jerry Bradley. And uh, Owen was, of course, the famous session guitar player. And then uh, Owen started the Quonset Hut. And Jerry was in publishing and ran a bunch of stuff in Nashville. So a uh, pretty cool guy going out on his boat. And we set up at the, it's a giant houseboat from like 19, uh, late 70s or something. But it's really immaculate. And uh, we cruise down the river at sunset and we play music. It's uh, me, Fred Eltringham, Jimmy Wallace, and Nick Govrick are going to go play and there's food and drinks in the whole nine yards it's a pretty awesome thing to go do we're doing that tomorrow evening and then saturday i go to knoxville area townsend tennessee to play with sean camp hooking back up with my good buddy jimmy wallace keyboard player uh that works with joe walsh and the wallflowers and jewel and all these people we had a man called 18 south for a long time that we started but some fun stuff coming up but i went and had uh, taught a couple lessons today Went and had lunch at this place down the, the street that has great salads. I'm trying to get back. I gained about five or six pounds while my parents were here because we like to go out to eat and, and eat ice cream. And my mom makes this incredible feta cheese garlic dip that's olive oil and cumin. And it's absolutely like the crack cocaine of dips. And so there's been a lot of ice cream and chips. And man, I, it comes back so fast. And so trying to get back down to that. So I went and had a salad today. Long story short, uh, but um, when I was in there, these two guys were over here on the side of the bite at the bar in uh, the, the, this place, and these two guys were over here talking about guitar, and one of them uh, tours with um, some big country artist, and uh, I ended up, you know, he goes, man, I, I met you before a couple times, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, and so then the bartender, the, not, the, it's a bar, but it's a restaurant, the guy that uh, worked, was working behind the bar, he goes, yeah, we've met a couple times, and and good to see you. And I was just like, man, no other town in the world are you going to walk in to these little coffee shops and restaurants in your neighborhood and just hear guys all over the place every day talking about uh, uh, Memory Man and my Dobro and my guitar and my new pickups and blah, 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 blah. It's just, it's like living in uh, Nashville. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my point of that whole story was I, I, I must be getting old older because the guy uh, next to me, dude that works there, this younger dude, was talking to the the guy at the cash register and um, he said he's never seen a music video on TV, on a television. He's only seen music videos on YouTube, probably on his phone. And I thought, holy shit, man. I mean, we used to come, you know, uh, home from school and me and my best friend would sit and watch MTV and we'd watch, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan was on there actually. And like, you know, bands like Nirvana and uh, Stone Temple Pilots and Soundgarden and, and all that, you know, all those bands from the nights, Pearl Jam and Everclear or whatever they're called and all these bands, right? Just like all these like Blind Melon and like the, the Silver Chair and the bands just went on and on and on and on. But man, oh, that was pretty cool. There was actual like bands back then playing rock and roll. Um, anyway, kind of like a wow, culture shock, you know, and then trying to date anybody in Nashville, that's a whole other story. But anyway, so check this out. Um, I wanted to show you guys, that was just obviously a little improv. Everything I do at the beginning of these videos, I literally just sit down and, and play. I have no idea what it's gonna be. If I make a horrific mistake, I will stop and restart until I get something that's at least passable. But that's just a little improv blues. But again, I wanted to show you guys just 
breaking this stuff down even more, I wanted to show you just some simple stuff, blues out of the A uh, pentatonic shape and how to start listening, or the A, A chord E shape, A dominant seven. Now check this out. That dominant seven, man, like I've said before, emphasis on the major third, the flat seven, and the root, right? So just to reiterate a few things, when you change chords, we're not changing keys. We're just changing chords, but you still have to outline, if you want to, you know, outline the chord. Now, I don't want you to guys to, you guys to get the wrong impression. I'm not saying that you have to outline every single chord every time something's going by because that starts sounding a little like you're trying too hard also. So it's just learning the vocabulary and, and listening to a lot of music. Don't forget to keep listening to a ton of music that is high in musical nutrients, as our uh, old buddy uh, little Tommy Bukovac says. But I'm um, like, you know... Uh, that's the idea. So this is an example of, of blending the minor pentatonic ideas with some more major ideas. Like if I go, and this has to do with some phrasing things too, but look, if I go up a major riff out of this chord, and I'm visualizing this part of it. So if I go, right, I'm sliding up to that tonic. Classic B.B. King blues riff, right? Now watch, instead of continuing on with some major sounding stuff, because even though I'm hammering on from the minor third to the major third, that gives it a little spice, right? Instead of going, it's... Okay, now back down... Do that. Well, that timing doesn't really work out on that one, but like that's like you know going up the major and then down. Landing on that major third going back down. Time to hear it again. If I go up here, you know, I'm always wanting to kind of punctuate it with that uh, additional uh, hitting of the root, right? I even slid up from the flat seven at that point. That's major. But then I came back down, dom uh, uh, dominant seven, into that nice nine chord with the major third on, because you want to keep. over these nine chords. I know I've showed you guys that before, but um, now if I'm going to the five, watch this. So here's an E7. If I drop these two fingers down a set of strings, now I've got the B on the high E string. It's another inversion, right? Like Deep River Blues, watch. That's a little trick. But anyway, getting back to this, if I go A to the five, so watch this, five chord, 
minor pentatonic, E minor pentatonic. Until it gets right there, and then I'm I'm going major third to the root out of the C shape because your ear near needs to hear that at that point, right? So if I'm So even if you just messed with the one, so that's, here's A dominant seven. That's all minor pentatonic so far. Until I hammer on that major third. Back to the flat seven G. to the root, right? So that's that lick. Five. Go to the four. see how this works I'm just staying in this shape for right now um, but I was gonna show you um, some other great exercises if you just took the one and the five like we're talking about um, uh, here's a we're just gonna go a major to e7 we're out of the dominant seven for a minute but these are great exercises just for this shape watch this Major uh, arpeggio E7 arpeggio. Right, and I'm going to tweak the timing on this so it's a so it's nice. But but watch, that's A major. seven resolves to the major third as soon as you can start getting these cool sounds like this in your ear you know uh a e a those are degrees of the scale right starting at a different spot and that's the sound so this again you know um That's the idea in this kind of stuff. Let's see, uh, A, A triad, E, E7, A, E7, A, E7, A, uh, A, E7. the harmonies lie and where this is really going to help you out. So watch this. That's just E, E7, A. There's a... Now if I play with that single notes... You'd go, oh, well, that's lead guitar. But if I play it in chords...
connect these pent uh, pentatonics. That's just A to D, right? I know I'm jumping around a lot, but I want to just keep throwing these ideas on you. A major pentatonic to go to the four chord and the five chord. Watch this. Sliding right to it, just like this riff I've showed you a bunch of times from uh, uh, Boom. My Girl, right? Yeah. So watch this. The easiest way to to see how an A, D, uh, A to D, right? So watch this. Then the pattern. To the to another chord, I gotta know though that pattern. So E, uh, I've gotta know those patterns. So I just wanted to give you a little something here. Now I want to show you a couple things, guys, that I've, that's been on my mind. I wanted to show you. Um, first of all, somebody was asking me about the two um, books. I'm going to show you about five things here, and then I'm going to get off and let you get back to your evening. But I uh, got another package in the. I'm calling it Gifts from Gibbons. He's a funny story, man. He was supposed to sit in with Willie Nelson the other night on the Outlaw tour, and Willie Nelson forgot to call him up on the last song. He called me. He goes, "Willie forgot Billy." He forgot to call me up. Um, pretty funny, these guys. Uh, anyway, um, this one's called Gold Top Believers. And this one's called Burst Believers. And they're pretty cool. There's all our favorite guitar players are in there. And, and those are pretty cool books. So Burst Believers and Gold Top Believers. Check those out. I think they're about $85 or something. But there's those. And I wanted to show you this. You know, a lot of times I go in the studio and the headphones sound terrible and most of the time it's, they're too bright uh and so these right here are pretty good flat uh headphones these are audio technicas and i can't remember the name they're uh the ath m 50 x and this one has the detachable cable you know the cable comes out you know i think uh, it does somehow but anyway these are good headphones if you're recording the guitar uh, or you want to listen to music and have a nice flat response. I don't like any extended high end on the guitar. So I like these headphones. Uh, now to get to some fun stuff real quick. Let me put this cheese cutter down here real fast. And I want to show you. These, these are some things that really make my life happy. Uh, peanut butter and company peanut butter. Crunchy. I think you can probably find that at your Whole Foods or uh, I bought it, at the, bought it at this place called the Turnip Truck. But uh, this is good peanut butter. It doesn't have all that oil in it that you have to stir up. One of my biggest pet peeves on the planet is having to stir up some kind of organic, not that there's anything wrong with that, peanut butter with a ton of oil on it. I, I, I'm not going to do it. But this stuff is killer. No stirring. You just open it and you start going. Uh, so there's that. These things right here, man, I love these. I buy these every day, and they're a little pricey, but they're well worth it. Uh, Bella Maria Valencia almonds. I'm sure you guys are already hip to these with fine herbs. Authentic Spanish nuts. Uh, these are fantastic, man. What a great snack. Those are addictive. And I just tried these today for the first time, and I think these are pretty damn good. And you're going to laugh. Dr. Bronner's. Remember Dr. Bronner's? He makes the soap, right? He's just like the soap guy for like the hippie soap. Um, but these are uh, chocolate. It's 70% uh, cocoa sweetened with coconut sugar. I don't know what that means. I'm a sucker for some marketing. And so I like the packaging. And I thought, Dr. Bronner's, I'll try those. This is um, uh, smooth coconut praline, which was good. And this is crunchy hazelnut butter which there's a little layer in between it. It's pretty damn good. I, I think I'm onto something here. 
But check those out. All right, guys. Thanks a bunch. I hope you got something out of that. I'm going to keep doing this. And I got to tell you, by the time we get off this video, I will have hit 55,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I've had more comments in the past week on these videos than I've ever had in my life. You guys are awesome. Uh, I really appreciate it. I really do. And uh, I'm going to keep growing this channel because this is the way I make a living. Definitely check out the links below. All your questions about lessons and all that, they're all going to be answered in the links below. Please subscribe. I've never said that once in my life, but I've got a lot of people telling me, they're like, dude, you got to like, you know, you promote a little bit. I'm like, okay, all right, fine. Um, so a lot of lessons coming in. I'm teaching a lot of, teaching a lot of lessons. There's new lessons up at Artist Works. So check that out. We did a, went out and flew out there and did a whole uh, bunch of new filming and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, thanks a bunch. Definitely check out in the tip jar. Check out the tip jug. Some of you guys have uh, donated. And I'm going to say this last thing. Uh, I try to respond to everybody's messages pers personally, at least with a thank you. And, and even if I just say thanks, man, I mean it. And so the, the longer the messages with more personal stuff, I try to respond to those. Uh, I will say this. If you send money... Uh, via PayPal or something like that. Sometimes it's not letting me send you a message back. So I've been emailing you guys and just saying, hey, thank you, man. I had a couple guys on here sent me, you know, a couple hundred bucks and, and you know, some, some nice, like, you know, nice tips. So really appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks a bunch. All right, bye.